Yeah? Um, I just wanted to thank you for all your help yesterday. I didn't do much. It was nothing. Good day. What's going on? Just very busy. Get back to work. Wait, what do you have in there? A balloon arch. Oh my god, Captain. She is magnificent. Vindication! There's a confused old woman here who wants to talk to a detective. Oh, come on. Another drill. Hello. My name is Adelaide. I'd like to report a crime. So we're just doing one of these every day? Oh, you got it. I know you got it. I want my money. Tick, 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 tick. Why are we doing this? It's Captain's orders. My name is Adelaide Van Hoyt. I'm 89 years old, and I'm here to report a crime. Not a problem. We can help you. Adelaide Van Hoyt, 89 years old. Goatee, 6'3", 290 pounds. Hey, this is a tight 240. Show Adelaide some damn respect. Captain, we are done with the drill. The old lady confessed to a 40-year-old unsolved murder in Rhode Island. We filled out the interstate power request and remanded her to the custody of her daughter. Adelaide has successfully transformed back into a giant man, sir. Well done. Thank you. See, instead of resisting, it's better to just put your head down, get the job done, and then you can get on with your day. Hi, my name is Timmy, and I'm lost. Son of a bitch! So, do you recognize any of these men? I was hiding in the bathroom stall, so I didn't see his face, but I heard him. He was singing along to the music at the bar. Do you remember what he was singing? I think it was that song, I Want It That Way. Backstreet Boys, I'm familiar. Okay. Number one, could you please sing the opening to I Want It That Way? Really? Okay. You are my fire. Number two, keep it going. The one desire. Number three. Believe when I say. Number four. I want it that way. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Now number five. I never want to hear you say. Woo! I want it. Chills, literal chills. It was number five. Number five killed my brother. Oh my God, I forgot about it. <gasps> yes! yes, lunchtime, wait's over. That was easy. Totally, I feel like we just had our snack an hour and 17 minutes ago. I never got into diets, though I did take diet pills in the 70s. I love these pills. They give me so much energy and I can eat whatever I want. Oh God. Actually, I was in a coma <laughs> when I woke up. I had so much mail. Weight loss science has come a long way since then. <laughs> Ingredients, carrot. Gotta respect that. Uh, Damn, Gina! What is that? Oh, it's the sloppy Jessica. Mac and cheese, chili pizza on a bun. It's everything I've wanted to eat for the last 48 hours. <laughs> what happened? I thought you were gonna last forever, bitches. Turns out I gave up easy. You hear that, bitches? I gave up so easy. Still working on that afternoon almond? I've been sucking on it so long, it's smooth. It's like sea glass. You do you. <gasps> I'll get that for you, Ames. <sighs> Oops. Butterfeet, sorry about that. Sorry? You bumbling son of a bitch! You just ruined my life! I hope you get hit by a truck and a dog takes a dump on your face! Ain't nothing to see here, just a little hypoglycemic rage. Move along. I'm so sorry, Hitchcock. That's not me. I'm never like that. That's okay. It was my fault. I shouldn't have bumped your cashew. Cashew? It was an almond, you idiot! I hope you drown in a tub! I hope you have aneurysm after aneurysm after aneurysm! Attention. I've been asked to read this statement. Two months ago, Gina Linetti was hit by a bus, and the brightest star in the cosmos was extinguished. But today, like a phoenix from the ashes, she rises to vanquish... This is 10 pages. I can't read it. Gina's doctor said it was okay for her to come back to work today. Here she is. 
Thank you. As much pain as I've been in, I can't imagine what it's been like for you. Living in a Gina-less world for two months. I'll field some questions now, anyone? Uh, how long do you have to wear the, the he metal, the head holder? It's called a halo. The doctor said I have to wear it for another week. It's drilled into my skull here. And yes, I can still hear the screws squeaking into the bone. So what was it like getting hit by a bus? It was awesome. <sighs> I knew it. I always wanted to get hit by a bus. Yeah, I mean, I was legally dead for two full minutes. And I met God. Tight. What does she look like? Ethnically ambiguous. You took two weeks off when Courtney and Scott Disick broke up. Are you sure you're ready to be back at work now? What are you saying, Terry? You think I can't handle being back yet? <laughs> Watch this. I want to apologize for yesterday. Inserting myself into my employee's breakup with my nephew somehow uh, backfired. It's not your fault. I'm the one that made a scene like a dumb crying baby. I'm considering having my tear ducts melted shut. It's not the end of the world to feel things. I guess not. It's up there. The thing is, I really cared about Marcus, but he wanted to get married and I'm just not ready for that. And if I'm not ready with a guy as great as Marcus, then what if I'm never ready? What if that was it, my one chance of love? And what if I never get a second chance? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just sad. Well, I, I understand. It must be very difficult. Wait, are you crying? Yes. Thank you for acknowledging my feelings. Thank you for acknowledging mine. We're both great at this. <laughs> for you, and you, and you. What are these? These, madam, are STDs. What are you talking about, buddy? STDs. Save the dates for Vivian and my wedding. Ah, yes. Hey, just out of curiosity, how many people have you given STDs to? Lots. Like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, oh, okay, I get it. STD has another meaning. That. You're gross. No one else is gonna think that. Everyone is going to think that, but it's sweet that your mind didn't go there. Thank you. It is kind of sweet. Will your first dance be to You Give Me Fever? Will you be serving crabs at the reception? Do you have herpes? Guys, this is my wedding. This is important to me. No more jokes. You're right, and we're sorry. Yes. We love you, buddy. Warts and all. Sorry, I made a rash decision. I was itching to say it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I have an STD. So just RSVP or? Yeah, the number's right on there.